Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to display the variables from your record producers onto the target records that they create. So you may have already seen this in incident forms. So if you create an incident, for example, from a record producer, uh, there is a default incident variables editor that you can display. It's not there by default and it will capture all unmapped variables as well as mapped variables on the form. So if you come to your form design here, you'll find that there is an incident variable editor formatter already available. It's not displayed by default, but you can just bring it over from your list of formatters and that will display all the variables, both mapped and unmapped that you've captured in a record producer. But did you know you can actually add or create your own variable for any table at all to do the same thing? So what you need to do is go to your list of formatters, look at the one for incident variable editor, see what macro it's using, and then just copy that over to your new formatter. So at the moment, I've got a new table here, uh, just a test table, just with two fields. If you look at the, the list of records here, there's nothing here at the moment, but it just contains two fields, that's it. In addition to that, I've also created a record producer to capture both field one and field two here, which are both mapped to those respective fields, but also a third field here, which is unmapped. As you can see, here, it's not mapped to any field in the target table. If we look at the record producer, it looks a little bit like this. So let me go ahead and add some values here. And submit it. So we've got the record created. If I come back to the list, refresh, we've got the record generated. If I open it, we only have the first two values captured. So if we come and have a look at the form design, and we'll see here, there's no corresponding formatter here uh, for this table. So all we need to do is go and create one. Really easy to do. I'll just come over here to my formatters, open it. Let's have a look at the one for the incident table already, the incident variable editor that we're gonna use as the basis. Notice here that there's a reference here to a formatter. This is actually a UI macro. So if you actually go to your UI macros here, you'll find it's a, uh, some jelly code that actually generates uh, or displays those variables. So this is it here. So this is actually what uh, we need to reference when we create our own formatter. We don't need to do anything else. We don't need to change this code. This is already being pre-configured for us to display all the variables that have come from the record producer. So if we come back to our formatters, This is the one that we need to, to copy over. So all we need to do is come back, create a new formatter, call it whatever we like. So we'll give it a name. And then just copy and paste that UI macro that we referenced earlier, specify the table name where we want to make that formatter available. So in this case, it's going to be my test table. And that's it. Save it. And now if we come back to our form design, refresh the page, we can see the test formatter is here. Drag and drop it, put it wherever you like, save it, come back to our form, refresh it, and now you can see it's captured all the variables there from the record producer. And now what we could do, what we maybe should do, is actually use a catalog UI policy to hide the first two fields because there's no point really in displaying them again when we've already got that information captured and displayed in the target fields here. 
So that's it. That's how you go ahead and create your own formatter and add it to a custom table to display variables that are unmapped uh, as well as mapped from a record producer.